number one that we're going to practice today and cover today is consistent goal setting. Consistent goal setting. And I know that some of you may say, I know that, I know that I have to do I have to do like goal setting sometimes. But from my observation and from hearing from successful people, from successful millionaires or billionaires like uh, Grant Cardone, for example, he has this practice daily. It's not just occasionally looking at, the, at your um, board, uh, vision board. It's not just occasionally thinking what you want to create. He had daily and still has daily practice of writing his goals right so writing his goals very specific practice that he had when he was still uh, recovering from the drug addiction and he was sharing with us that he would work uh, he was working for like car dealership he would go there until 12 o'clock at night so he would not be in work and practice how to do eye contact, how to greet people, etc. All the practices that salespeople need to have. So he will not be distracted by being in the bars and, and, and getting into the drug stuff uh, again. And I can tell you that it's a very, very common practice among successful wealthy people. Yes, it's great to have whatever works for you. Would, but it needs to be daily practice, okay? If you have a vision board, have it in front of you every day. If you want to have a brief journal, as soon as you wake up, just remind yourself, that's what you are going to experience, okay? And uh, uh, if you want, it's very good idea not to type it, but actually write it because we connect our, you know, uh, physical body is connected to our mind, right? And that's how we, Actually, the, this connection, this loop, mind-body loop is very powerful because it's uh, how we connect to our subconscious mind. So that's the practice that we're going to do today. And I will uh, share with you some uh, very specific exercises that will help you with this. So there are two problems with um, setting goals. Some people feel that I have a goal, but they like they're not clear what is the goal exactly some people just say i just want to have a million dollars you know it's kind of lousy goal because it's not specific uh, and because you don't have what you don't have a clarity about why you want this okay it's very important when you set up your goals that you know what you want and most even most importantly why do you want this? Because this big why, this big why will pull you toward this, this uh, vision. This big why will help you to overcome problems that, you know, what we all experience, obstacles and challenges. Um, if, you, if you think that I don't experience them now just because I'm financially independent, it's incorrect. So, but when you have your big vision, that will pull you through all the challenges will pull you toward this goal. So that's one problem with setting, goal setting. The second problem that I noticed is that many people don't realize the difference between ends goals and means goals. Let me give you, and again, we have this, uh, we have this in the workbook, two types of goals. So end goals are goals that your soul desires. It's something like, I want to feel love and give love, offer love. I want to feel happy. I want to, you know, something that really, uh, I want to expand my awareness. I want to connect to the high intelligence. Something that is almost on the edge of, it's not possible. Like one of my end goals is, for example, is to, in terms of um, uh, not my, my personal end goal was to be free and to help other people to, other women to be free and prosperous, okay? That's my end goal. But we also have means goals. So means goals are goals that are your milestones and we all have them. 
like means goals would be uh, example of this means goals would be uh, I want to uh, buy a house. I want to have a job that pays me uh, six figures. Uh, I want to have a business that pays me that uh, generates six or seven figures. Uh, I want to be married, right? I want to have children. So these are these are means goals, and there is no nothing wrong with means goals. But I think this awareness of I want to have my business generating six to seven figures. If you know what is your end goal, why you want this milestone in your life, it will help you because you know what? I met some people who only focused on means goals, like including Grant Cardone, by the way, he shared with us that at some point he's since early childhood, he wanted to be wealthy. Then he wanted to have a plane. He got a plane. Then he wanted to have a helicopter. He got a helicopter. But you know what? Means goals don't bring fulfillment. Don't, don't bring the happiness that we all crave for. Because why do we want something? Ultimately, people don't want money for just having money in the bank. People want money for what money can uh, offer them, right? So that's why it's important to have your, to know your means goals and end goals. Now, today I want to help you to determine this um, end goals and means goals. And I just want to tell you that um, the everyday, everyday needs, right? We all have physical needs to, to have food on the table, to have a roof over our heads. Uh, this, they are important, but at some point we start craving uh, what Tony Robbins call, calls spiritual needs. And spiritual needs uh, include need to grow, need to self, for self-development, and also need to contribute. We have these are spiritual needs that we have. So today I want you to create your end goals and your means goals, not based, on where, not based on where you are right now, not based on what your past experiences were, but based on your desired future. And how, we evaluate, how we're gonna evaluate this, um, this uh, um, end goals, how I will help you to determine what they are, all right? So who is excited to learn the, um, process of determining your end goals and your means goals. So